Welcome back. We've got another technical review of Tesla FSD. I'm back for some weekend downtown driving. The theme of this drive is to highlight some areas where full self-driving is just as good, if not even better than many human drivers, and some common areas where it still falls short. You'll definitely see some interesting things in this video, so I hope you learn a little bit more about FSD. Let's go. And to start off, we're gonna be turning right here at this intersection, and this is gonna actually highlight one of the best parts of FSD, and that's the pedestrian detection, how it advanced it's become, and how safe it is to drive Tesla's FSD around pedestrians. If you take a look on the right, as I just sped up the camera, we've got a bit of a jogging club here. You can see all these people who are jogging across the street. Now, FSD's gonna manage all these people who are jogging there, more that are coming from behind me, cars that are in front of me, we've got this pedestrian standing right there we have oncoming traffic cars that are swerving around me and then going into the right lane some really crazy things and the great thing about fsd is it's got all these cameras and it can manage all of that now look at this trying to move forward a little bit we've got these pedestrians coming from both ends. we've got this guy blocking the camera I'm trying to move forward but look now another break with more drivers that are coming in it's so difficult and look I'm stopping again, why? Because FSD can pick up these stragglers then, uh, again. So it waits for them, like a really, really tricky, advanced scenario there with oncoming cars and just waves after waves of pedestrians who are coming at high speed and just out of the blue. So it does a fantastic job there. To be honest, I think it does a better job than most human drivers there. Be interested to hear what your thoughts are on that. Now, if you look on the, the map on my screen there, you can see that I'm gonna to have to go up ahead and I'm gonna turn left. In front of me, you'll see a bit of an elevated highway. I'm gonna be turning left underneath that elevated highway and then I'm gonna have to get onto a ramp to go onto that highway for just a short distance. And we're gonna see how FSD manages that right now. As you can see, we've got a lot of merging traffic in front of us. And the reason why we do have that is because we've got some construction there. So FSD does a really good job letting the traffic in. It's merging in very nice, very smooth, very safe right now and it does a very good job with that when it comes to these construction zones FSD does a fantastic job with that now it's gonna have to stop here wait for this oncoming traffic to clear and then it's gonna have to make a confident left turn as you can see we're right by the arena again and uh, it can be quite busy right here with pedestrians crossing the road all right we've got the trucks passing and look like that just like that FSD moves forward so it does a fantastic job with that now what it's going to have to do is going to have to get into the right lane and it's going to have to go up that ramp and here's where we're actually going to run into one of the major problems on this drive is that FSD is just not finding its way in there. You can see it's kind of struggling behind this car not very sure what it wants to do right now and as you can see it swerves around them now you can see the, uh, the indicating light comes on to get into that lane but by that time it's too late and as a result it's sort of taking me off course now so we're gonna have to see how Tesla is gonna have to adjust to this uh, with the maps and in uh, the roads in front of us right now so let's see how it proceeds forward and uh, that's gonna lead to uh, one of the issues we're gonna see here and it's gonna start popping up on my screen soon as you can tell that I'm, I'm driving under an elevated highway right now and I don't know if that's affecting maybe some of the the GPS uh, it's not getting good reception there, but what starts popping on my, on my screen is that you'll start seeing you can see it right there I start getting uh, alerts saying that it's poor GPS reception And I'm wondering if that was affecting maybe some of the mapping data there because it's trying to map Not the road I'm on but also the highway above it and I don't know if it was confused or not But essentially it made me miss my uh, it made me miss my ramp there now look on the screen here where it's navigating uh, as you can see there, it's done uh, a reroute and now I've blown right by it and I've missed the reroute. So now I'm in a difficult situation where it's going to have to reroute again and it's going to actually have to take me past the road that I need to turn right on. It's going to have to loop back so we'll speed up the camera there. So that's another thing I'm going to ding it on is that it did the right thing in rerouting me but by that time it already had me in the middle lane and I missed the ability to turn right on that road. So uh, now we're going to have to see how it adjusts to that. And this is, you know, again, one of the cool things that FSD can do is that if it does miss a road, you know, it'll go fix it and try to put you back on the, you know, towards your destination again. As you can see right now, it's actually stopping because there's a pedestrian there and FSD has very, been very, very patient there. But that guy was actually waving me forward. So I just kind of tapped the pedal and let FSD move forward there. So, you know, sometimes FSD is very good in, in, in trying to read the body language if a pedestrian is trying to walk in front of you. Uh, but there he was actually facing forward like he was going to cross, but then he stopped and then he just started moving his arm over. So we just proceeded there. So uh, no issues there with FSD and that behavior. 
Okay, so now as you can see here on the map, we're going to have to uh, turn around. So let's see how it uh, manages through uh, all this condo traffic here and some of these uh, side streets. There you can see there's that elevated highway that I was supposed to be on. Okay, we have a car stopping in front of us. And FSD does a good job of going around it. You know, it'll slow down when it sees a car slowing down in front of it. Uh, it's patient, but then when it notices that the car is not going to move, it uh, gently goes around it. Very good drive there. Nice smooth right turn. So it's going to have to get up here and it's going to have to make a left turn. You can look on the map where it's supposed to be taking me back. So let's see how, see how it does that. You can see there's a lot of pedestrians on the left. You can't see it, but there's a lot of pedestrians that are going to be crossing the road. We've got a green light now. So we're moving forward, letting these cars obviously pass in front. And it's got to wait for those pedestrians to cross on the left walking a bit slowly now look at this see fsd is already starting to turn there and it's doing that because there's no oncoming traffic but to be honest i think it should be a little bit more patient and let those pedestrians cross before it starts hanging out in the middle of an intersection you never know if another car is going to be coming in oncoming traffic and i'm blocking the lane there so i am noting that right there and now look at the map there it's uh, i should be turning left uh, originally but now it has me looping around i'm going to see if it's going to correct itself but i'm going to have to probably disengage here I'm waiting till the end and yeah there you go I disengaged because it was getting confused with that again it was gonna start looping me around all over the place and uh, I wasn't gonna have that so I have to disengage and I will re-engage the FSD now that I'm hopefully in the correct lane so I don't know if this is like a you know much different than someone who's driving in this area for the first time and it's kind of confused by that but um, it's been having some mapping issues in this area for some specific reason. I don't know if it's the elevated highway above it or not, but uh, it hasn't been performing that well so far. We've got two lanes here turning left. All right, good speed. I'm doing uh, two legs within this drive. We're coming up to the end of the first leg here. FSD is going to have to get into the left lane, get up, and then make a left at a busy light there. You can see we've got some merging traffic in front. Let's see how long it takes before it has to get into the left lane. We've got some traffic there on the left side, so it's waiting for those cars to pass. And the car passes, and it confidently moves into the left lane. Very good. As you can see, there's a lot of traffic there, and it's keeping its distance, and it's nice and smooth. And, you know, no matter what, even the challenges it's been having with the maps and the routing, it's been driving very smooth, so very good job there. As you can see, this is a very busy area. There's just tons of condos. You know, this area of downtown Toronto, there is just like, it seems like there's just hundreds of condos. All right, now we've sort of advanced our way up here and we've going to do our advanced screen and that takes us to the end of the first drive. All right, we're gonna just pick it up as we uh, start heading over to our next destination. Okay, kicking over to the next location there. You can see we've got someone here just slowly crossing the road. She wasn't even looking up there and FSD was keeping its distance, taking its time. You can see we've got the stadium there on the right in the distance. We have the CN Tower there on the right. Again, we're expecting uh, lots of pedestrians and lots of cars here. Let's see how smooth the ride is. Nice and smooth. Hopefully we can make it through this intersection before the light turns. Good, good acceleration there. I love that. You know, I never like it when the car drives too slow and that was a purposeful acceleration there. So I, I do enjoy that. You can see up on the mapping data ahead, eventually we're gonna be turning left here. And right now, this should be a simple, this should be the simplest portion of the drive here. Always keeping an eye on for cyclists. Not as many cyclists around today. FSD is doing a good thing in that it's keeping me in the left lane. There's no reason to weave in and out of traffic right now when I'm going to be turning left up ahead. All right, we're going to be coming up to our left turn now. Let's see, just winding in and out of traffic right now. Nice, smooth move into the left turn lane. 
You see, you have a lot of pedestrians here, lots of cyclists. Now, I'm going to be turning left here, and if you look on the map, it says I have to do pretty much like a 90 degree left turn. If you actually look, there's two roads that I can actually turn left onto right now. Where all these cars are going right now, that's actually not the road that I should be turning left on. It's the next one uh, over there. So let's see if uh, FSD gets confused by that at all. But again, this sharp angle left turn I will not be making. So I'm just going to wait for the green light. Hopefully I get an advanced green and I'll be taking the next road. And you can see I've got an advanced green right now and I, and I got honked here. So uh, the car wasn't moving for some reason. FSD usually listens to those advanced greens, but now the light's gone fully green and off we go. I had to kind of tap the pedal there. So that was a little bit of a miss there, but at least it went onto the right road this time. So that's good. Now we're going to slowly go around these buses here. We've got some pedestrians crossing the road. We can look on the map there. We're going to have to be turning right. So let's see when it does that. Okay, now it's indicating it's getting into the middle lane. It's going to have to get over one more lane. we got a cyclist there on the right. And we're going to have to turn right pretty soon after this next light. So we'll see when it does that. All right, light's going. Let's see when it starts indicating and it starts indicating immediately. I got to be careful here because we got that cyclist there in the right lane. Oh, it actually does a very good job. You see there, it abandoned that right, uh, moving to the right lane when it saw that parked car there. If you remember on one of my just previous videos, it struggled with that. Uh, and this time it did the right thing. It was going to go right and then stop, wait till it passed the uh, parked vehicle and then got into the right lane. Excellent job there. Okay, we're going to be turning right here. Now take a look at this pedestrian crossing here. Look what happens. This guy just kind of races ahead now. She's not crossing and she's just stopping and she's not looking like she's going to cross. So FSD goes, you know, if this was me driving, I probably would have just been patient and maybe just waved her over. But to be honest, it looked at what what her intent was and she wasn't looking like she was going to move at all. And FSD just decided to go for it. And I thought, you know what? It did a good job. She wasn't leaning over the road. It's a little bit aggressive, but I think it would, you know, it did a good job of judging what her intent was. In that case, she wanted me to pass. So we passed. So you look over, we've got one more turn here to finish off the drive. Good acceleration there. Now look what's happening here. I'm not supposed to be turning into this lane right now because this is now a left turn lane and uh, I don't want to be going left here. So that's a bit of a mistake there. We've got a solid line. So FSD stuck through here and what does it do? It doesn't go left and uh, I just let it go through. It just goes through the intersection. And now it's into the left, the correct left turn lane. So again, some issues with the mapping data are just not reading it correctly there. So yeah, that was a bit of a miss there. So that takes us to the end of this drive. So, you know, quick summary of what I experienced today. So to summarize, FSD continues to do an amazing job around pedestrians. It can handle simple and complex pedestrian detection. It's very safe, very cautious around pedestrians, and it does a much better job of understanding their crossing intent based on the position and angle. Now, FSD those to can still struggle in situations where you drive under elevated highways, whether it's a GPS issue or the fact that you may have some stacked roads. Uh, my drive today had some missed turns and the rerouting was also very questionable. The drives continue to be comfortable and smooth though, very much so. Uh, it's very cyber cab like in that regard. I'm hoping Tesla maintains and improves that even much more in the future. And uh, overall though, it wasn't a perfect drive. I've had better results in recent drives, so it goes to show you that this is still not perfect technology by any means. Uh, the ability to course correct though is great, but you really don't wanna miss turns at any times throughout the drive. So let me know your thoughts on this drive in FSD in general. Again, I appreciate all your support. Uh, you know, your liking and subscribing is now bringing my channel to many more viewers, and we are helping share this technology with uh, a greater audience throughout the world. You all drive safe. Now I'll see you on the roads.